So I've been wearing Allen Edmonds dress shoes and dress boots for the past decade. And while they are exceptionally well made, especially for the price, they aren't without shortcomings and disadvantages. Now, a lot of these disadvantages of wearing and owning these shoes are pretty much just obvious disadvantages of wearing a very expensive, high quality dress shoe with a leather sole like that. But as I mature through my style journey, those disadvantages of owning and wearing such nice, high quality, expensive leather dress shoes are starting to outweigh a lot of the advantages that used to matter to me five, eight, 10 years ago. Let's start off talking about some of the more classic styles that I have from Allen Edmonds. We have the Park Avenue Cap Toe Oxford in all black. We have the McAllister Wingtip Oxford in the dark chili color. And we also have the Strand in this beautiful walnut color. Now, while these three shoes are the perfect trinity of dress shoes, you can literally wear them to any event you Anything you could think of, you could do with these three dress shoes. You're covered on all bases, but they have one, maybe two fatal flaws that we'll talk about as we continue this video. First, we're gonna focus our attention on the Black Park Avenues. Now the Park Avenues were the first shoes that I bought. The all black color is absolutely great, super formal. They got a leather sole right here. They are good year welted, which just means you can get them resold. You could send them back to Allen Edmonds and they will resold them at a fraction of the cost of buying a whole new shoe. Shoes are absolutely flawless. You could see there is minimal creasing and I have worn these quite a bit. I don't wear them too much anymore to tell you the truth. I don't have much of a need for black dress shoes, but the shoes do absolutely look amazing, especially you pick them up on a sale. These things, absolutely awesome. So awesome that I'm actually getting rid of them. Why? Why would I get rid of them if they are so awesome? Well, it comes down to price, comfort, and fit. The price of these brand new is $425. Even if you pick them up on a sale, they're gonna be probably still over $300. Since I don't wear black dress shoes, I don't remember the last time I wore these particular shoes. They sat at my mom's house for a couple of years. Now they've been sitting over in the corner of my little bedroom here. I don't want or don't have the need or the budget to actually go out and spend a ton of money on a pair of black leather dress shoes that are just gonna sit in the box and I'm gonna wear them less than I wear my suits. So that's number one. Number two is going to be the fit of these shoes. These are a 12B, so they are a very narrow shoe. I measure at an 11 and a half E as an echo on the 1965 last, which is the last that is this shoe and the other Allen Edmonds I showed you, the McAllister and the Strand. So these are too narrow for me. I can't wear them even around the apartment just casually. They do start to hurt right here. So that's strike number two. Strike number three is gonna be that leather sole and their lack of resistance to the rain. Of course, it's a dress shoe, so these are, these are not rain boots. That's not really a huge deal, but it is kind of like nails in the coffin for me just because if I'm gonna spend three or $400 on a pair of shoes, I'm gonna to wanna to wear them multiple times throughout the year and not have to constantly worry about, is it gonna rain? Is it gonna snow? Are my feet gonna be killing me? Am I gonna get blisters over here, blisters over there? So I I've outgrown these shoes and I don't need to replace them with the exact model currently right now. Now the shoe that I actually am going to be replacing these with for now, for the meantime, is going to be the Cole Haan Original Grand Wingtip Oxford in the all black color. Now comparing these shoes side by side, yeah, there's no comparison guys. The Allen Edmonds hands down is the better made shoe. It's made in America. You can get it resold. It's going to wear longer. It's overall in the long run, probably going to cost exactly the same since this one, when it wears out, it's just going to be it wears out, throw it away, get a new pair. That's it. You're all done. Now for me, I'm okay just wearing these when I need to wear black dress shoes right now. These are the perfect placeholder and these are tried and true comfort. I have this exact same shoe in a couple of other colors, so I don't have to worry about if it rains, if it snows, if I'm walking 10 miles. These shoes, absolutely perfect for right now. Right now, I currently have the all black Cole Haan Original Grands on my feet with this navy suit. This is a very dressed up look. I wanted to see how they actually look. They don't, they're not black dress shoes, they're black hybrid shoes. They don't look bad. They are just, they're a lot more comfortable. They're also not as shiny as the Allen Edmonds. However, like I was saying, just as a placeholder, yeah, why not? It, it, it works for me. These are $100, the Allen Edmonds are $400. So it's just overall, I'm okay sacrificing a little bit of style just to put more money in my bank account 
and not destroy my feet, legs, and overall my health. Up next, let's talk about the Me Callister. Me Callister. The McAllister Wingtip Oxford in this beautiful dark chili color. This is my favorite dress shoe. I did have some issues with comfort. It was a bit too narrow right here. It was hurting on the top of my foot. Then it was hurting over here. So I took a shoe stretcher, stretched them out a bit. You can see I've got a leather sole, but I did apply just a cheap rubber sole on top of it. And I was able to just sand the outside down. So these things, if I get caught in the rain, it's going to be okay. As far as fit and comfort, underfoot comfort is great with them. Well, it's not great, but it's 775. 7.5 or 8 out of 10, their dress shoes are not going to be as comfortable as cushy sold shoes like I just showed you or sneakers. But for dress shoes, I can confidently say I can walk in these for a long time. My feet are going to be fine. I did have to stretch them out quite a bit right here. I do get some cuts into my heel right here, but I'll just try to soften the leather. That actually happens on my right foot. This is the left shoe. So while I was going to get rid of these, I've decided to keep these just because when I'm wearing these shoes and I look down at my feet, I'm very pleased. I think it's just such a nice looking shoe with just all those broguing details, the color, everything about this shoe. If I could only have one pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes, or if something happened where I just lost all my stuff, this would probably be the pair that I would go for right away but there might be another pair that I would get before this, but this definitely my top pick for the dress shoes just because they're awesome. I absolutely love them. Up next, let's talk about a shoe that at one point was the most popular shoe in Allen Eben's lineup, the Strand Captoe Oxford in this beautiful walnut color. Now the interesting thing about this shoe or this particular color is I had a pair of McAllister's in walnut. Eventually I got tired of them and I sold them. I think I sold them or gave them away. Then I got a pair in dark chili with the day night sole. Day night sole does not work on dress shoes for me. It just, it was cutting in the top. It just, the shoe just felt wrong. Leather soles on dress shoes always just feel more flexible and more comfortable. So I tried the walnut color a couple times. I also had a pair of Dalton wingtip dress boots with the day night sole, the day night sole in the walnut, but I always go back to the dark chili. Now, if you're wearing a bit more of a brighter colored suit, maybe you want to dress a bit more casually, especially in the warm weather in the summertime, or even in the fall, winter, early spring, when you're dressing mostly in dark clothes, that walnut color, if the rest of your outfit's muted, can brighten up your outfit and balance it out while also looking super appropriate for more casual wear in the summertime or some brighter colored suits. Wearing it with navy blue is a bit tricky, especially since it just starts to look too much of a contrast here. It starts to create too much of a contrast, in my opinion. Now, I did wear these to my wedding when I was wearing my medium blue suit, and they looked absolutely amazing. They don't really go too well with more of a classic navy suit like this, in my opinion. I would always pick the dark chili over the walnut, and if we put them together, you can see there's really not too much of a difference between the two colors. The dark chili will still pop out and jump out at you, but it'll do it in a little bit more of a subtle, subdued manner where these, sometimes it can feel like, what did I say years ago? Someone actually, someone actually, someone actually quoted me and said, highlighters are high beams on your feet. Actually, I got that quote from Vladimir Riche. If you're out there still making videos, Vladimir, I used to watch you a long time ago. So while the walnut colored shoes are super fun and they're a great way of actually just changing it up from the dark chili shoes like these, these I have decided they will be going in the bin just because I don't have a need for them anymore. And I do have a lot of other dark chili shoes. And every time I wear the walnut shoes, I do start to second guess myself saying, you know, I should have worn the dark chili shoes. They would have been just a little bit more subdued. But then every time I do wear the pair of a pair of dark chili shoes or something close to it like this, I'm always okay. I'm never second guessing myself. So since I am trying to get rid of more things and not have so much crap in my life as far as material possessions, I've made the decision the Allen Edmonds strand in the walnuts are going in the donation bin. Now, what about other dress shoes? Since now I only have one pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes in the 1965 last, the dark chili color, and this is a closed lacing system. What happens if these get soaked or if I'm wearing them a long time? 
what else am I going to do or what else should you do? Should you really just be relying on one pair of dress shoes? Well, if you're not wearing dress shoes a lot, one pair is gonna be totally fine. But if you do like to wear nicer shoes, you really should have just a couple of more options just in case, like I said, you wanna let these dry out, you get caught in the rain. Maybe you wanna send them for a resole or a reheel. Maybe you just, you know, you, your feet get tired of you know certain pressure points hitting all the time you just want to change it up there are a couple of more options now as time has gone on i don't just have the 65 blast classic dress shoe i actually got the alan edmonds dark chili dalton wingtip dress boot a long time ago this is a boot that's absolutely amazing this is the most comfortable shoe or boot from alan edmonds that i've tried this thing absolutely great and it's pretty much just like a high top dress shoe. It is very thin, very comfortable. I mean, this is, this is really one of their greatest shoes. Unfortunately, Alan Edmonds did discontinue this. I saw a post on Reddit or something, and then I actually called Alan Edmonds customer service and asked them, and the representative told me, yes, they did discontinue it, but they're most likely going to come out with another wingtip dress boot in the fall around their Rediscover America sale. So a bit bummed out, but I'm happy that I got a pair. These were not cheap, but they are super, super amazing, super comfortable. So these two shoes on this side of the table, the McAllister and the Dalton, I can rotate, or if you have these shoes, you can rotate back and forth between these. Monday, Tuesday, you can wear the McAllister. Wednesday, Thursday, you could wear the dress boot and then Friday you can wear the McAllister again or you can literally just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or if you want to look a little bit more dressed up then of course a closed lacing Oxford like this one is going to be just a little bit more appropriate than a full-on dress boot even though if you look at them the silhouette is very similar or maybe you know you want to save this for Thursday, Friday. You're going out with your coworkers. You want to save this for the weekend, and this can be your weekday workhorse. You can do just about everything with these two shoes, the McAllister and the Dalton boot. Anything that a brown shoe could do, right? You can't obviously dress them up with black tie. You need black dress shoes for that, or some sort of black Oxfords. On the formality scale, they'll never be as good as a black Park Avenue Capto Oxford. However, for everything else, these two shoes have got you covered. Now we're gonna start talking about some of my other shoes that I have that are not Allen Edmonds, but they filled that void that I can actually get rid of more of my Allen Edmonds since I have so much more better options. First, we're gonna talk about the Beckett Simenon Kent Wingtip Oxford. This is a great casual shoe. Absolutely love the color. Beckett Simenon, actually, they're one of the first brands to reach out to me uh, quite a while ago, and I had these made to order. So I didn't pay for these. They were totally free of charge. They shipped them out to me. And mind you, when I actually looked on their website, I said, let me see what they've got. And I found a pair of wingtips that I liked, and I said, go ahead, send them to me. I'll talk about them. Totally unbiased. And I can honestly say, well, they probably aren't as good quality as the Allen Edmonds, they're pretty much like 80 or 90% there just because they are made to order. It keeps the price low. The only negative is you gotta wait a month or two to actually get your shoes. But these things, I actually did a walking test in as well. They are all the problems I have in my McAllister's, these solve. I can wear them with thick socks. I can wear them with thin socks. I'm not just restricted to wearing dress socks. Beckett Simonon also sent this little insert right here just because the shoes did fit me a little bit big, but then putting that insert in, that insert, insert, putting that insert in actually did fill some of the space. So that's really awesome that they did that. So these shoes, as far as casual goes, these are gonna be absolutely great. Now they are a little bit bulkier to wear with a nice slim suit, but I'm a bit taller, I'm also a bit you know, I'm not super skinny and super slim. I'm, I'm a little bit more stocky. So that's where a pair of shoes like these are gonna work okay for me. If you're a bit more skinny, a bit more of a slender stature, maybe a pair of shoes like this are gonna make your feet look too big, especially if you've got super, super thin, uh, what's it called, super thin pant legs on your suit or your jeans or whatever pants you're wearing that day. But the great thing about Beckett Simonon, of course, as anything is, you know, this is not the only shoe they make. They make shoes similar to the Park Avenue, similar to, similar to the McAllister. They make slip-on shoes, which I'm not a big fan of. They make penny loafers, they make monk straps, they make dress boots, they make every shoe. Only thing is, they are going to take at least a month or two to get to you, so they're made to order. But 
instead of paying three or four hundred, you're only going to be paying about two to two fifty, two seventy five, depending on the model. Now there are two more shoes that I want to talk about here, and while I do wear these shoes quite a bit, these really are in, they're not even in the same league as Allen Edmonds, and I know they're super polarizing, some people hate them, some people love them, but they're going to be none other than the Cole Haan Original Grand with the tan on top and the dark colored sole, and the more casual version, the tan on top with the white colored sole. Uh, I keep calling these British tan. Someone asked in the comments, what color are they? I want to always want to say British tan because my first pair of dress shoes or not dress shoes, my first pair of Cole Haan Zero Grands were British tan. These are actually the color Woodbury. This is Woodbury Ivory since that's a white ivory sole. And these are Woodbury Java. I guess they call the brown sole Woodbury Java. So while these shoes, super comfortable, great casual shoes, they really can't hold a candle when you talk about wearing a suit. The Allen Edmonds, the Beckett Simonons, even some of the Allen Edmonds boots like the Higgins Mill, they're gonna absolutely wipe the floor with these shoes. The, just don't wear these with suits. Just don't do it. Wear them with khakis and jeans, don't wear them with suits. Let's talk about the Dark Soul ones for a minute. These, if I was going to work wearing a polo shirt or a dress shirt and a pair of either khaki colored chinos or gray colored chinos, maybe even navy chinos, these would look totally fine with all three of those colors. Once you start to get to navy chinos and start throwing a sport coat over it, then these can start to look, that's the limit of them. They're gonna start to look pretty, pretty rough after a while, stylistically speaking. So really jeans, khakis, that's where these are gonna shine. That's pretty much as far as you can take them. Now the darker colored sole, I would say if you actually do wanna wear them to work, maybe you've got a lot of foot problems like I used to have, plantar fasciitis, sore heels, sore arches, the whole nine yards, definitely you should not be, in my opinion at least, you should not be sacrificing the health of your feet or your body just to look good for a fashion sense. So that's where something like this is going to be great. Just understand that there are a lot more limitations on a shoe like this than there are on a shoe like the Allen Edmonds McAllister with that classic styling and that classic heel, or even something like the Beckett Simonon. This is a more chunkier shoe. You can't dress it up as well as the McAllister, but this is going to look miles better with a suit or with even, you know, suit separates, a dressed up chino, sport coat, the whole nine yards, all that stuff. This is going to look miles better than something like this but you can still do it. You just gotta be a lot more careful. Woodbury color with the ivory sole. If you're looking to just step up your sneaker game, you're tired of wearing Vans, you're tired of wearing Adidas, you're tired of just wearing casual sneakers all the time, that's where something like this, the Woodbury with the ivory outsole, or you know, the medium brown with the white outsole it's called, because that's really what it is. This is where it's really going to shine. This is a great casual shoe. Looks amazing with jeans. Also looks pretty good with khakis as well. Once you start stepping into those gray chinos, start tucking your shirt in for work, that's where I wouldn't really lean too heavily on these. I would just go back to the darker colored sole. And if you start to wear darker colored chinos like navy blue, that's where these are really gonna start to look out of place. So think of these as a more dressed up Clark's Desert Boot or a more dressed up, a more dressed up version of a nicer sneaker like this black with the white bottom. This is just a black checkerboard Vans slip on. Looks pretty nice, looks pretty stylish, but these are gonna be just a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more comfortable version of something like this. Now these also come in, I don't know if they still make them, but they used to make them in a color chestnut, which looked really nice. It was a much darker brown, same, light color ivory outsole. And of course, they also come in the black on top with the white outsole. I always like the brown on top with the white outsole. If I had a choice between black or brown, I'm always gonna go brown. You might like black, but it's totally fine. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I currently have the all black original grands, which are just gonna be my stand-in for my black dress shoes. But these are a great option for stepping up your stylish, stepping up your casual game. Maybe you're tired of wearing your Clark's desert boots, things like that. You don't wanna wear boat shoes or penny loafers. These are gonna be a great option for wearing casually with jeans, khakis, and shorts. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope this gave you some insight. It's okay to let go of things that you're no longer getting a lot of use for. You don't have to be as radical as me and just wanna get rid of all your stuff in one shot. At one point, I wanted to get rid of all three of my Allen Edmonds 
Oxfords, including the McAllisters. I also wanted to get rid of a couple of my Higgins mill boots and just be left with my Beckett Simonons and the Dalton boot. I almost forgot the name of it for a minute, but it's okay to let go of things that you're no longer using. And if it's something that is causing you pain or if it's going to just sit in the closet, collect dust, might be a good idea to either try to sell it on eBay, try to see if you could sell it to someone for just to make a couple of bucks back or just do what I'm doing donate them. That's going to be the easiest thing. It's totally okay to do that. There are a lot of rules in fashion that say you need to have this, you need to have that. You don't have this, you have to have that. Don't ever get this, don't ever get that. It's totally up to you. It's subjective. Obviously, dress shoes are going to look better than sneakers or hybrid shoes. That does not mean there's no place for that in your wardrobe. So shop smart, wear what you like, and you'll be feeling absolutely awesome. Your confidence levels will be through the roof, and that's the most important thing when it comes to looking and feeling amazing. Thanks for watching.